Hello and welcome to our channel Nutramite where we provide informative videos regarding health and lifestyle. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for important notification and videos. Thirty household items that double as home workout equipment. You don't have to leave your home to get in a solid sweet session of the bike. With much of the world sheltering in place, our normal exercise routines have had to undergo a few changes. While cycling, if done safely and with the proper etiquette, is still a great way to keep your fitness up. It's likely impossible to go to the gym to get in the good workout of the bike. And good news is, you don't have to. In fact, you don't even need to leave the comfort of your own home to get in a solid sweat session. Home workout equipment has been setting out online everywhere. But don't worry, you probably already have some great alternatives right at your fingertip. Oh yes! Check out these 30 household items that can double as exercise equipment. Very first one. Use a hand towel as a slider. Head to the linen closet and grab yourself two small hand towels. On a foot or tiled floor, place the towels under your hands or feet to increase the challenge of traditional ab moves like mountain climbers, knee tucks and bikes. Second, use laundry detergent as kettlebell. Swap clean clothes for single arm clean using a bottle of your laundry detergent, as long as it has a handle. Or perform a kettlebell swing, making sure to squeeze your glutes at the top of each movement. Third one, use a folding chair as a bench for triceps dips. Folding chairs are great not just because they are portable but also because they are typically made out of durable steel. To perform a tricep deep, start sitting on the chair with your hands at your sides, fingers wrapped around the edge of the seat. Extend legs to form a straight line from ankles to hips. Lift your torso about 2 inches in front of the chair. This is your starting position. Slowly lower down until your elbows form a 90 degree angle. Then press back to start for one repeat. Repeat for desired reps. Fourth one, use a backpack as a weighted waist. Why invest in a weighted versions when you probably have a backpack at home? Simply throw a few soap cans or bottle water bottles into a backpack and get to work. Start slow by taking a walk around the neighborhood or even a hike on local trails. Helpful tip is, weigh the bag on a bathroom scale so you know how much you are working with and slowly increase as you build strength. Fifth one, use a coach cushion as a bosu. Bosu like a Swiss ball slides in half. Exercises test your balance because you are working on an unstable surface. A coach cushion can serve a similar purpose. Start simply with 3 sets of 12 deep squats with your feet on the cushion or bicycle crunches seated on the cushion. Next one, use a bike pump for tricep strength. Granted, you will have to deflate and inflate a few tires. But challenge yourself by seeing how fast you can go through 4 cycles. Place 2 feet on the pump to keep it steady and then use your arms and core to inflate the tube. Next, use rope as a suspension trainer. Head to the garage and grab that rope you have lying around. Ideally, measure about 8 feet of rope. Tie knot at both ends, find a sturdy tree branch in the yard and sling one end of the rope over it. Use the rope to execute moves such as inverted rows or squats or make two loops at the end to place your feet in for theoric style planks or lunges. Next one, use soup cans as small weights. Whether you are a chicken noodle or tomato fan, soup cans are the ideal size for small hand weights. 
Use them for low weight, high repetition movements such as bicep curl poses, overhead triceps extension and flatter serving extension to build upper body muscular endurance. Ninth one, use a beach towel as a yoga mat. No mat, no problem. Lay down your towel and get your downward dog on. It won't feel as thick as a mat, so you can double up if you want extra padding. If you close your eyes in Savasana and think warm thoughts, it might even feel like a day at the beach. Wow! Then, use a basketball to make push-ups harder. When performed in an unstable condition, push-ups can help to activate hard to train muscle groups in a way conventional ones cannot. First, get comfortable with executing a plank with both hands on the ball, core engaged, then lower down into push-up and press back to starting position. 11. Use a broom for mobility work. Those crumbs on the kitchen floor can wait. Grab a broom with a wide overhand grip and start with it in front of your hips. Bring the bar up overhead then behind your head and down toward your glutes. Return to start for one rip. 12. Use the stairs as a cardio machine. A set of stairs is the perfect place for a quick cardio hit. Maybe not on your long ride day. Regularly working up 400 steps or about 32 flights during the course of a day can substantially increase your endurance, giving you a 17% pump in VO2 max. According to a study, use stairs in your home or apartment building or head to a local park. Next one, use a folding chair as a weight bench. Rest an arm on the chair while you perform bent over single arm rows with a milk jug or simply use it to rest your feet on while executing decline push-ups or vegetarian split squats. Next one. Use a coffee table book as a weight. We are not talking about simple paperback edition of Catcher in the Rye. Reach for something substantial, like a dictionary or other large weighted text, to use as a weight that you would have hold with both hands. In a traditional crunch for starters, start laying face up, holding the book with arms extended. As you crunch upward, keep your arms straight and engage your abs. Return to starting position and repeat for desired reps. 15th, use paper plates as sliders. Don't have hardwood or tile floors at home. Not a problem. Develop on a standard paper plate and work with them in the same way that you would use the hand towels but on carpeted floors. Try mountain climbers, plank jacks and bikes to get started. 16. Use a pan for upper body strength. After breakfast, use that large pan for a few overhead triceps extension. Holding the handle overhead, bend at the elbows until the pan touches your back, then return to starting position. Bonus points if you use a heavy cast iron skillet. Next one, use a mop for an abs burner. Holding a mop overhead while doing core moves such as standing oblique side crunches or standing bicycle crunches helps build functional all over strength and will really light up your core. 18. Use a laundry basket for a deadlift. If there is one constant among cyclists at home, it's having an abundance of sweaty kits to wash at any given time. Put all that laundry to good use by using the laundry basket for functional movement. Start standing with micro bend in the knees, send hips back to lower down and grab the basket. Engage hamstrings and glutes to press hips forward back to start. Aim for 3 sets of 20 basket deadlifts. 19. Use a duffel bag as a sandbag. Sandbag training is great since it tastes strength, balance and often patience. Fill a duffel bag with a bunch of clothes and get ready to work. Try the sandbag walking lunge. Start with feet hip width apart and sandbag in front of you. Grab the handles and clean the bag to your chest. Press it overhead then rest it on your shoulders behind your neck. 
Lunge forward with left foot until right knee taps the floor, making sure to keep the torso upright. Press through right heel to stand for one rep. Repeat on opposite side. Two three sets of ten alternative reps. Twentieth, use rubber banded spoons for weights. Grab yourself a stack of eight spoons and a rubber band. Wrap the band around the spoons, and you have an easy single pound weight perfect for small pulses and high repetition movements. You can use this for wrist curls to work on your grip strength for breaking. Twenty one. Use a bag of flour or rice as a heavy weight. There is just one rule for this one. Avoid a messy situation by placing the bag of flour in a ziplock bag before you begin. Then use the heavy weight to make basic bodyweight moves such as squats and lunges more challenging. Twenty second. Use a still water bottle to add difficulty to planks. Still. It's a key word here as you need something that's going to be able to support most of your body weight. In a traditional plank, place one hand on a water bottle that's on its side. Use the bottle to roll your hand out, pressing through the core as you lower into a low push-up position. Return to start for one rep. Do eight reps. Repeat on opposite side. Twenty-third. Use a milk jug as a kettle bell. Ready to update the Turkish get-ups? Rather than holding on to the handle, add extra difficulty by palming the jug itself. Keep your eye on the dairy as you execute the full movement. Next one, use a shovel for unilateral training. Lean into unilateral training with the help of a snow shovel. Shown to better activate the superficial core muscles than bilateral exercises. Unilateral work like shouldering will help you also perform daily tasks like lifting heavy grocery bags. Twenty fifth, use a wooden crate as a plyo box. Flip a sturdy wooden crate upside down and make sure it's large enough for plyometric work such as box jumps or simple step ups. To test its sturdiness, first stand on top, then perform small hops to make sure it can hold up underneath the impact. Twenty sixth. Use the door frame to better your puppy. <laughs> we are told time and time again that it's not a proper puppy unless you are selling it with a jump at the top of the movement. Add extra oomph to standard puppy by jumping to tap the top of the door frame between each rep. Twenty seventh. Use your bait for balance practice. Just like a soft couch cushion, your mattress is the perfect place to test your balance. Without even getting out of bed, stand up carefully and practice doing light balance work, including three poles and single leg deadlifts. The unstable surface will challenge small stabilizing muscles. Next one, use your toilet for box squats. It's time to rethink the way you look at the porcelain throne. Coincidentally. The place you do a lot of your deep thinking is also a great height for box squats. Stand facing away from the toilet with the lid closed. Send hips back to lower until glutes tap lead. Then return to starting position and repeat. Twenty ninth, use the wall for walks. Ready to turn things upside down? Use the wall. A uh, basement walls made with concrete are ideal for wall walks. Start in a high plank position with your feet up against the wall. Engage your core and start to walk up the wall until your face meets the wall and your body is vertical. Slowly return to start for one rep. Do six reps. Thirteen. Use a coach for glute bridges. Lie face up on the floor and rest your heels on the edge of your coach. This is your starting position. Squeeze through the glutes and raise your hips, creating a straight line from shoulders to knee. Lower back to start for one rep and repeat. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon for important notifications and videos.